Hello, Tamara here. Nice of you to join me. In today's video, we're going to be looking at um, decorating our front and back covers. We left it in part two uh, where we had just decorated the spine. So we're going to jump straight into this video and we're going to carry on from where I left off. I've taken my bulldog, bulldog clips off now and um, as you can see it's nice and um, stuck down and also on the back it's uh, all nice and secure. What I may do on the next books that I make is put an eyelet in the hole there um, just to give that a bit more stability uh, around there but for the time being because I, I only just thought of it I'm going to put um, like a tag ring around that in a different colour. That looked quite nice. So we've done now um, the book and um, we go on to decorate. Now, um, in the one that I've already done, I've actually used um, one of the flag, the nesting flag dies to make a little pocket here. Um, it just goes to show that you know, just because they're nesting and they're flags that you have to use them as such. Um, so we might do that again. If I just get them, I'll show you what I mean. So these were the ones that I used. And then I think I used that size. Yeah, I think I did. And then I just... Um, might have even used a bigger size. That one. Yeah, I think I used that one and then just folded it over and um, stuck it down. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we can get on doing our master boards for our um, inside of our book. So I'll show you one and then... Um, we'll we'll go on to the the master boards okay because then you can do that bit then at your leisure so i just need to grab my die cutting machine so let's put them together take that one off so i cut out um two of the uh, this it's not the biggest though this is the second one down that I used actually it's a smaller one than the one I showed and that would that just gives a nice finish so I cut this one twice out of my craft card so let's just measure that And then what I did is I then cut the small, the next size down from this one, um, and I used my pattern paper for that. So let's cut this out. As this is quite thick card, you could. Um, I didn't want to cut it um, together. Uh, just in case it didn't go through. So that's that one. That's one. And another one. Like so. And, and these flags um, are the nested flags from Lisa Horton so you um, you always know which are Lisa's um, dies is because she's got this this lovely um, color um, around the, the dies so you always know that they're genuine if they've got if they're green so there's our two of those, and then we, now we need to do our um, pattern paper. Now I wanted to go a little bit different than the outside, so let's pick another one. Uh, yeah, we can get that one. That looked quite nice actually. Um, 
there. I don't need to bring this up a bit. There we go. Keep getting out of the shot. So we'll cut that off like so. And I'm going to do the back one as the, the same as well. So I'll just cut a part, another bit out for that one. So let's put that there like that. And one on top. Okay, because I'm going to cut, try and cut two together because this is a this is obviously a bit thinner, so hopefully it should go through. Yes, no problem whatsoever. Even that's I look that's really good how I've managed to cut that. Oh, that's a shame. I could have used that side. That would have been nice to have gone as the top of the pocket. If I wanted to, um, if I'd have wanted to do that, I would never have been able to. So this then is the start of our pocket. So we've got our pockets sort of sorted out. So we're going to put those to one side. And we're going to just work on now um, doing our mat and layer. So you need to get, you need to cut out two in matching and then two in another matching. So this is going to be the inside front and back cover and these are going to be the outside front and back cover. Okay, your measurements need to be, for your craft card, it needs to be three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths okay so that's for this craft card layer if you want a one inch um, border then you need to cut your patterned paper at three and three quarters by two and three quarters and that's for your patterned paper but if you want a quarter inch uh, border around which is what I've done you need to cut then your pattern paper at three and five eighths by two and five eighths and that's your patterned paper so you need to go um, go off if you are doing your distressing uh, inks around um, as I said I'm using the archival and um, I'm going to just ink around all the edges Okay, so we've done that. We're going to now work on our pocket. Okay, so we need to make these smaller. Now you have to work out how big or small you want your pocket. Now you could have a big pocket that goes up there, and then you could then put another, um, get another tag, and then create another pocket underneath. So you've got a double pocket um, if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, the possibilities are quite uh, are endless really with the, these, but we're just going to stick with the one pocket at the bottom because you could use it that way. Uh, actually, that would look really nice if you used it that way. So that could be a 
uh, a point of difference yeah let's do it that way so let's measure it now you need to give yourself a little bit of a gap at the bottom um, so that you can obviously fold it over to create the base of the pocket so I'm going to measure it from the point at the bottom and we're going to go with maybe two and a half um, so if we cut these down to two and a half from so I don't know if you'd be able to do it from there let's do it from the top there so if we do that let me see what that so if we cut that at going from the big point at the top if we cut that at three and a half um, that gives us um, a nice sort of um, extra bit that we can work with so cut these down to three and a half so we're going to move it this way so three and a half so we're measuring for the point here okay so let's go three and a half and or should we do it three yeah sorry do it at three sorry let's um, change that up so make it to three like so and then we can use that bit and again three like that and then what we need to do then is get our mats and layer that we've done let's stick them together like so okay make sure you get them the right way round so that's it needs to go that way so then this is going to go on the top like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to buy eye it the equal distance either side okay and then I'm just going to match it up with the sort of lines on my board and then I need a bone folder I think that's and then just follow the cut the the natural line of your mat and layer going down and then again on the other side going down and then along the bottom okay again following that line of your mat and layer and then just to create a nice sort of embossed line or a scored line should I say just go over uh, over it because this this is a scoring board as well I, uh, I, I'm really pleased when I, I uh, saw um, the lady from Crate and Craft who does We Are Memory Keepers Cara she was demonstrating this in the green room and um, Lisa and I both um, thought it was marvellous and I must admit it is really good this is called the works so you can um, it's a scoreboard a, um, it's a stamping press as well it's got a stamper here you can do um, side you can do tabs you can do banners you can do envelopes you can um, do bows as well and pom-poms uh, so it's like all in one type of uh, kit it's really really good I'm really pleased I bought it so uh, there we go so then that's then going to create the nice pocket that's going to then go around our mat and layer that we've done okay like that so that's so you wouldn't even know that that's a banner die sorry not banner a flag die um, you know you would have thought it's actually made for um, you know a, 
a pocket so um, it's just also using your dies that we have it's finding other uses for them so that um, you know either you might bought it just to do your flags uh, with um, you know get as much use out of all of your dies as you can now I've bought myself a brand new gadget um, yesterday and um, it's one of these I've always always wanted one and I thought right I'm gonna have a go I'm gonna get one and um, so this is what I've I've got this today and I'm hoping um, I just bought the six millimeter um, glue but I think I should have gone with the 12 but you live and learn don't you that's the thing so um, yeah it's it's pretty good well this is the, the first outing that it's had so um, I'm hoping that it's going to be okay so I'm just going to oh, down there and I just remember to have to remember to keep the uh, little button pressed in like so but I think it's going to uh, make my life so much easier and quicker when I'm doing my memory books and things so let's um, get this sorted out so remember just to keep your if you've got text like I'm um, using uh, that your paper is directional um, and then we can go ahead and just place it in the gap and then fold over our sides like so and then the bottom now I didn't catch enough of that on there maybe I should have done it on here Ooh. okay so that is down that is down so that's near enough one pocket finish now now we've got the the pattern paper now I'm just going to have to take off maybe um, an eighth of an inch either side so that we get a nice um, border around it so let's just go with um, if I can take if I can do it that way so it may um, this doesn't go down to that far so I'm going to maybe do so that's good so I'm just going to uh, make a mark there so I'm not really sort of measuring this as such I'm just going to buy eye that side uh, and then there, there we go see I've created that so that looks really good but I now I know, know what I forgot to do I forgot to um, ink around my edges of my card my pocket but hopefully I can just do that quickly like so so just ink around then your pattern paper layer then we can go ahead and stick that bit on and my glue like that and then that's the, I'm near enough our first pocket done okay so I would go ahead and do the same on the back um, exactly the same or we could make you could make two pockets it's really up to you however you want to do it um, where's my book there? make sure I get it up the right way so yes if you want to go ahead then and do that I won't do this on camera because this video is going to be far too long as it is and um, what I may do is then we'll 
um, I'll do this one off camera and then uh, when we come back in part four we will do our master boards for the inside of our book our pages so thank you very much for sticking by me um, all uh, today this video has been really long I'm going to hopefully have to edit lots of things out because um, otherwise it's just it'll be far too long um, yeah please give me a thumbs up um, always appreciate it a like um, please become a subscriber as I said I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of maybe May and uh, once I do that I will do a huge massive giveaway again Please come and follow me on social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and a blog. The links to all of those will be in the description box down below. So um, go and check that out and um, click on one of the links and it will take you to whichever social media you do. I'm going to sign off and get finish the uh, back of my book and then when we come back in part four we will do our master boards for the inside. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Lots of love. Bye.